geriatric challenges and prescribing. So it's important to think about illnesses that affect older adults and to think about how these medical conditions might further diminish the processing and removal of medications. For instance, patients with cirrhosis or liver disease or diabetes with subsequent renal impairment. Other geriatric challenges in prescribing can include poor adherence to treatment regimens, and this can be because of impaired cognition. This can be due to confusing drug regimens or lack of motivation or insight into the need to use treatment. And so setting up things like pill boxes, encouraging family to be involved in administration and helping to set up pill boxes can be important. Psychotropic medications are also not routinely studied in older adults, and a lot of our randomized controlled trials that study the efficacy of these medications exclude our oldest old population. And inappropriate prescribing can really increase potential bad outcomes for older adults. And the prevalence of potentially inappropriate medication use in older adults ranges anywhere from 20 to 60 percent, depending on the healthcare setting and study. Inappropriate medication prescribing can increase the risk of emergency department visits, hospitalizations, adverse drug events, and is associated with poor quality of life. And even among patients taking appropriate medications, the prevalence of adverse drug reactions is increased in the older adult population. So I'll give here a case example about a patient presenting to the emergency department, and I'll ask you to think about how you might approach this case. So Mrs. M is a 67-year-old woman who's brought into the emergency department by her daughter. The patient herself complains of fatigue, amotivation, anxiety, and difficulty with memory. And her symptoms are currently making it difficult for her to perform her daily activities. There's been some instances where she's gotten lost while driving, and she admits that she might be mixing up a few of her medications. Her past medical history is reviewed and significant for unsteady gait, fibromyalgia, hypothyroidism, GERD, asthma, anxiety, depression, type 2 diabetes, and constipation. Her daughter is concerned that her mom has been more depressed and confused. Her daughter worries about a possible dementia diagnosis. So as part of your evaluation, you do a thorough review of her current medications. And so looking across the different drug classes, are there some areas that there might be duplications? Are there some drug-drug interactions or medications that have specific side effects that you might be particularly concerned about? So we'll come back to this case a little bit later. Doing a thorough medication reconciliation is key to avoiding and addressing medication-related harms, looking to really remove medications in addition to just starting them. And so thinking about areas where there's potentials to reduce polypharmacy as well as to minimize potential side effects to older adults. So the key points for this section, prescribing of psychotropic medications to older adults can be complicated by poor adherence to treatment regimens due to either impaired cognition, confusing drug regimens, or a lack of motivation or insight. Inappropriate prescribing increases the potential for bad outcomes for patients, including increased risk of emergency department visits, hospitalizations, adverse drug events, and poor quality of life. And doing a thorough medication reconciliation is key to avoiding and addressing medication-related harms.